Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Romanovich Auto Surgeon. We are back at it with you know what the house build for our dog. Very excited to keep moving forward. The weather is getting a lot better, so I actually have some time to work in the morning as well. I was able to take some time off of work, so this is the perfect time to go ahead and get some things done. If you guys are new to this channel and randomly came by, make sure to smash that subscribe button, hit the little bell to, to get post notifications of other posts that I have coming in the near future. I have a ton of builds, tips and tricks, how to fix your vehicles and small builds like this one. Let's go ahead and keep going. All right, to do a small recap of what we did last time, we had already the walls up right here on the side, pretty much the whole base of it done right there. And today I went ahead and put this last supporting beam right here for the front of the house right here. Also went ahead and cut a, a board of uh, plywood right there come up came out really nice I went ahead and measured from one side to the other the same thing for that side and then uh, cut out the actual uh, pieces for the two by fours that way it slid up nice and nicely and my father had already went ahead and put the insulation right here on the sides so uh, it's coming out really well really happy the way this is working out so he is a little bolt right there just to hold it in there nice and firm at the moment it will still be covered right here with another piece of wall making sure it's really nice and thick and uh, keeping the puppy warm so so the next step since we are not so far into the build i wanted to go ahead and go by our local parts store and just go ahead and take a sample of uh and look at different uh, houses that they already built i've looked and done a lot of research online i want to be able to go and actually look at them physically look at the different ones that are out there you know since we're not so far ahead in our build we can go ahead and figure out what other things we can incorporate into our house making it perfectly the ultimate dog house so let's go ahead and get on our bike and catch you guys over there to the pet smart we're trying this place out first let's see what they have for uh, actual what all houses oh wow this is nothing this is crazy much all i found a bunch of small little houses this is pretty much what we have but a little bit much bigger maybe four times as big as that and he's already grown out of that so pretty much we have this one right here um Gosh. Yeah, we might not be able to get one from here. Sadly. Wow. Alright. Alright guys, sadly they have literally nothing. I might as well buy my shed. But <laughs> let's go over here to Petco and see what we can find. Alright, made it to Petco. So far this is all we're finding. Okay, it looks like over here we can get some little dog houses. More like igloos over here. And then back to the same stuff we have. Okay, it looks like nobody has anything that we're making. Looks like we're gonna have to just uh, work on it by ourselves. Wish that always can be a good thing, you know? You wanna figure out what you want, make it the way you want it the first time, make it perfect for your dog. So I know my dog's gonna be pretty big, pretty buff. I'm gonna make sure it's all healthy and all, so. Definitely making it for the size that it is going to be. Hopefully he doesn't outgrow it. If anything, you know, I just pull two sides off and uh, extend it and make it a little bit bigger. So I guess I'll catch you guys back at the shop. All right, we made it back. So we're gonna continue working on this thing. Look at Zeke, he's running around, he's so excited. Yeah, yeah, I bet you are, buddy. Come on, get inside here. He definitely likes it. <laughs> Good boy, no, no, no licking, no licking. No, I know, I know. Well, yeah, he's definitely excited that we're uh, building this little guy for him. Definitely gonna be making it personal. You're gonna have your name everywhere on everything, right? But yeah, I'm gonna keep moving forward. It's getting a little bit windy, so it's gonna get a little bit rough. 
but we're gonna keep grinding with, with Zeke over here, get things done. All right, let's keep going. He's already camping in there. Oh, he's so cute. Hey, you. Hey, buddy, hey. Little guy getting used to that. And he just had uh, his dinner, so he's definitely happy. Zeke, come here. Come here, buddy. Good boy. All right, guys, well, it's the next day. Wasn't able to work as much. Had to cover it up just because it started to pour and didn't get much done. Was able to get one of the walls done, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what that looks like. But hey, Zeke, you want to say hi to the guys? It's a new day. These guys are ready to play around. It's a bit wet, so he's going to be getting dirty today. Yeah? Yeah? I know, I know. But uh, we've been taking him to the dog uh, park over here. And this sucker uh, went and played with the big boys. He was uh, pretty confident after uh, a little bit. <laughs> they definitely were running in chasing him, but he did great. So no more wasted time. Let's go ahead and keep going forward and uh, getting our little house done for Zeke over here. Let's go. So I really do apologize that I'm not able to record as much due to the weather. I'm just really trying to work between the weather cycles because this could say that it's going to be raining or sunny for a couple hours and then bam rain hits no matter what so we're just gonna keep moving forward I'm just gonna give you a small update and slowly move along and uh, show you guys updates of what I've done to it yesterday we were able to complete as uh, put the floorboard as you guys saw it was already on and uh, now we just mounted our first wall in the inside it's nice and sturdy have uh, bolts uh, everywhere and so this is the setup that we have that is actually underneath this little uh, wall. So we have uh, actual insulation right there. Then we have two more pieces right here. I believe this is from like an old um, small little fence that we had. And so we use that as the actual support so we can actually screw in the wall. That way whenever he grows up a little bit bigger and you know he wants to move around and doesn't press up against the actual wall and make it cave in or anything like that. So. Just giving, making him a little bit more durable for whenever he grows up. But yeah, we're gonna leave this a little bit for a little bit later time. But what we're gonna work is on this uh, wall right here. This is gonna be the wall that's gonna be also closed up. The other side is gonna be the open side for the front of the house. So I'm gonna go ahead and start measuring a bit more of these pieces, which are uh, right over there. And uh, after we get those measured up, I'm gonna go ahead and start mounting them right here. And uh, gonna make it hopefully today, hopefully before this uh, rain starts because it's already starting to blow wind really hard and it rained all at night. So definitely want to move forward a little bit and uh, get the roof really soon because even though we had it covered with a nice tarp, it's still got water inside. So I'm gonna do my best to at least cover one of the more sides and then start on the roof. That way we can eliminate as much as possible of moisture inside. Let's go ahead and keep moving forward. All right, so here I have uh, set up this uh, next piece and uh, figured instead of measuring it and cutting and maybe messing up, since uh, we do want to have a little bit of overlap over here, that way no extra wind or excess wind will go into there and uh, or rain or anything like that. So I'm gonna have a little bit like this left over. So I went ahead and just propped it up against it and uh, just gonna go ahead and mark it right here. That way it'll be a lot easier to just go ahead and uh, get the right size for it and uh, then we can actually work with it. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this measured out and cut. Here we go, finally cut. Here's two pieces right there. There's two more, same exact length, cut over there with the saw. And uh, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, lean this over and start uh, attaching this piece right here. And uh, hopefully it goes well. And guys, uh, I'll up to you right after I do that. So here I'm going to do the same method again, just laying it over, put those sheets, make sure my line's up to the top and then go running from the bottom up. And then also, since he's going to get pretty heavy, you know, I want to make sure I'm going to support his weight. I'm going to put one at least two by four runs across here. So we'll go in the shed and get ourselves a two by four after we put these pieces on.
side's done. Let's go ahead and flip it down. I'll show you guys what we're doing. Alright, so here we go. We got the next wall up in the back. Zeke approves, as you guys saw. It's uh, came out really nice. So this is what I was talking about over here, where it'll come out a little bit further. That way, any extra winds or anything will uh, get it. And, uh, but yeah, it's turning out really good. I'm really happy the way it's uh, working out. I'm gonna probably go ahead and maybe uh, see if I can get the um, this piece of uh, insulation onto this wall right here and then we can go from there but so far it's working out really well hopefully he gets used to it and uh, wants to sleep in there but uh, I'm sure he will it's looking great there sorry my neighbors are screaming their heads off apologize about that but went ahead and cut this one to size and it has a nice snug fit and uh thinking maybe put it like this that way it has a you know bigger range on here better support instead of putting it just uh i guess uh perpendicular to the actual floor so i think this will be right here a lot better now i'll just tie in two screws from both sides and uh she should be perfect so let's go ahead and get two screws drive them in and uh be done with the floor all right so i went ahead and actually got two quite a bit of long screws it's gonna be plenty of uh catch for these and uh so i'll get it and uh, measure out how far in there they are and uh go ahead and screw them on I'm gonna flip it around and uh, screw in the other one. So I wanted to go ahead and test out the sturdiness of it, you know, because I mean, he's gonna be pretty heavy. I'm 128 pounds, so I don't expect him to over go that, but maybe. Hold me up perfectly fine. It doesn't just wobbles a little bit, but that's still perfectly fine. It'll definitely hold him. So did an awesome job. Can keep moving forward. Alright, so this is gonna be a wrap up for this video. Hope you guys have liked this video so far. 
this small little build series smash that subscribe button if you guys do and wish to see more content just like this we're going to keep moving forward in the next video i just don't want to make this a little too long just break it down a little bit further so if you guys have spare time you guys can watch these little series really appreciate all you guys support catch you guys next time peace